me down with one gulp. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, oh, wow! Granny, away! Oh, just her bonnet left on the floor. Yeah, and there's worse to come. Although he'd eaten Granny, the wicked wolf was still hungry. What? After eating a whole Granny? Yeah, so do you know what he did? He put on one of Granny's nighties and a nightcap <laughs> and got into Granny's bed to wait <gasps> for Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, no. He's planning to eat her too, isn't he, Max? I'm afraid he was. Mm. Now, as I said before, it was very dark in the cottage mm. and when Red Riding Hood arrived, she thought it was a Granny in the bed. Oh. But she noticed the ears. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you've got, said Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. All the better to hear you with, said the wolf. Oh, that doesn't sound much like Granny, thought Little Red Riding Hood. No. She looked closer. Mm. Oh, what big eyes you have, she exclaimed. Mm. All the better to see you with, my dear, <laughs> replied the wolf. Oh, and what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with. Yeah. With that, the wolf leapt from the bed and swallowed Little Red Riding Hood down with one enormous gulp. Yum, yum, yum. No, this story is much too sad for us, Max. I don't like it. Yes, poor Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, and her granny. Don't forget her granny. <laughs> yeah, that's a very sad story, Max. Well, I know, Jake, but it's got a happy ending. Well, quick, Max, tell them what it is. Yeah, come on, Max. All right, all right. Well, as luck would have it, Little Red Riding Hood's daddy had decided to come along to make sure everything was all right. And he arrived just in time to see what happened. So he rushed in and bashed the wicked wolf on the head with his axe. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Then turned him upside down and shook him until Little Red Riding Hood and Granny popped out of the wolf's mouth. Yeah! <laughs> were they all right after being in the wolf's tummy? Oh, yeah, yeah, they were fine, Fizz. A bit surprised, but they weren't hurt. Oh, oh, what about the wolf? What did he do? He got up and ran off and was never seen again. And what happened to Little Red Riding Hood and Granny? Why? They lived happily ever after, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow! What a great story. Oh, they were lucky her dad came by with his axe. Yeah. Yes, but they were unlucky to be eaten by the wolf. Yeah. I've got a great idea. Let's make a play about it. Yes, oh. and I I'll, be an... I'll be Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, well, who can I be? Oh, you can be her mummy, and Milo can be her daddy who saves them. Oh, oh. yeah, I'll be good at that. Oh, take that, you big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, who can I be? Who can I be? Um, oh, you could be her little brother. Oh, she didn't have a little brother. Well, we could make one up. No, I want to be something good. Mm. Oh, I know. Jake, you can be the granny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a granny. I want to be the, the wolf. No, you're too small to be the wolf. Mm. I don't care, Fizz. I want to be the wolf or I'm not playing. Mm. Well, then who's going to be granny? Yeah, who's going to be... <laughs> oh, come on, do you really expect me to... Oh, I'll be the granny, I'll be the granny. Oh, yes, Max, you be a great granny. Yeah, Granny Max. <laughs> so, we've got everybody then. Right, yeah, let's get on with the play. We can't start yet. We've got to get dressed up for it. Oh. Tweeny clock, where will it stop? Milo. Oh, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this would be good for the father, though. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, and this would make a great axe. Oh, Chopper Rooney! Yeah. Oh, thanks, mate. Uh, oh, can anyone see anything for me as Little Red Riding Hood? Uh, oh, look, I'm going to use this for the mother. Mm, and these are very pretty. Uh, 